Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Liz Kidantis. We begin tonight with another mail theft in our area. This time, two teens are accused of stealing packages from a St. Lucie County post office before leading deputies on a chase spanning multiple counties. CBS 12's Lily Ortiz joins us outside the sheriff's office in Fort Pierce with new video of that pursuit and how deputies were able to stop them. I spoke with the sheriff over the phone after they posted this video online. He tells me two 17 year olds who are not from our area tried to victimize local residents and then just drove off without a care for anyone's safety. He said their biggest mistake was trying to pull a stunt like this in our area. Aerial footage shows a dramatic chase involving two male theft suspects. Two teens inside a speeding BMW as St. Lucie County deputies tailed them from the Treasure Coast all the way to Osceola County. Sheriff Keith Pearson tells CBS 12 News this happened on Monday. The pair of suspects, both 17 years old, are accused of stealing packages and parcels from a loading dock behind a United States Postal Service facility near St. Lucie West Boulevard in I-95. In the video, the teens were spotted on State Road 60 in Vero Beach. And then at one point, they pull over and toss a few USPS boxes out of the car with deputies still close by. In a social media post, the sheriff explains how the dangerous pursuit ended. Initiating a pursuit in Indian River County that ended in Osceola County with one of our detectives utilizing a pit maneuver. These juveniles now face burglary, theft, fleeing and eluding, amongst other charges. This comes after the sheriff says he's seen a pattern of male thefts across the state. It's unclear if the suspects in this incident are part of a group of organized criminals targeting male agencies, but the rise in similar thefts is something postal authorities have pledged to combat. They said this during a news conference in Palm Beach County Tuesday afternoon. We have multiple rings out there in South Florida uh, committing these types of crimes, and uh, we're out there working day and night to try to um, catch these individuals and bring them to justice so that, um, you know, the American public could feel safe and feel secure with the U.S. Postal Service again. And the sheriff tells me catching criminals that are coming from other parts of the state are typically slim, and he's just glad his deputies were able to make an arrest, thankfully, without any injuries reported. In Fort Pierce, I'm Lily Ortiz, CBS 12 News. Hi, I'm Liz Kidantis. Click like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more stories like this that impact you.